Okay, welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video. So I thought I would try some IB content. So most of my content here is focused on IGCSE, but talking to my pupils, talking to my students, um, they thought it might be useful to have some IB content out there. I'm currently teaching uh, IB high level, year 12 and year 13. Uh, with the applications course. So what I thought I would do is I'd take some IB high-level content core, so on both the high-level analysis and the high-level applications course, and go through some exam questions with you. So if you're interested, if you do IGCSE and you want a taste of IB, um, this is like A-level but the international uh, baccalaureate, or you simply want some IB high-level core exam practice, then this video is for you. Please like, please subscribe, please let me know if you like these kind of videos. So let's take a toughie to start with. So the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence are given by the sum formula 4n squared minus 2n. Three terms of this sequence, of the arithmetic sequence, u2, um, and u32, are actually consecutive terms, so one after the other, of a geometric sequence, and from somehow you've got to find what m is. Right, so our first step is to take this uh, arithmetic sequence and work out a couple of terms from that. So S1, so the sum of the first one term of the sequence is going to be the same as the first term. So if I put 1 into this formula, I'll generate the first term of the arithmetic sequence. So if I put 1 into here, we get 4 times 1 squared minus 2 times 1. If we work this out, this is going to give us 2. If I work out the sum of the first two terms of the sequence, well, that's going to be equal to u1 and u2 added together. So if we put 2 into here, we get 4 times 2 squared minus 2 times 2. And that's going to equal, well, 2 squared is 4, 4 times 4 is 16, 16 minus 4 is equal to 12. So if I know the first term is 2, the first two terms add up to give me 12, and I know the second term in my sequence is going to be equal to 10. Yeah, 2 plus something equals 12, then that's got to be equal to 10. And so the common difference in my arithmetic sequence, or well, the difference between 2 and 10, is equal to 8. So these are important bits of information that I have gleaned. Uh, we also need to work out the 32nd term. So to work out u32, well we're going to use our formula of a plus m minus 1d, which is on our formula sheets for both courses. Uh, the first term is 2. Uh, n is 32, because it's this number here. So we get 31, and our common difference is 8. And if we work that out, we should get 250. 31 times 8 is 248, plus the 2 is 250. So we know u32 is equal to 250. So we've got all the information we need from u2 and u32. Now we know they're consecutive terms in a geometric sequence. So what that means with the common ratio is that if I take the second term, divided by the first term. That common ratio is going to be the same as the third term, which is u32, divided by the second term, which is um. So using the common ratio formula. Now, from what we just did, we actually worked out u32, which was 250, and u2, which was equal to 10. So we can plug that in. So we get um divided by 10 is equal to u32, which is 250, uh, divided by um. We're going to cross multiply at this point, so we get um squared, we can cross multiply, like so, and that's going to be equal to 250 times 10, which is 2500. We square root both sides, and then we get um is equal to plus or minus 50, but because we're working with terms in the sequence, we have to take the positive one, so we work out that then um itself is equal to 50. 
And then finally, we work backwards. So we know that the UM is equal to 50. So we know that 50 is equal to A plus M minus 1D. So that's the formula for the general term of a sequence. Uh, but we know what A and D are of the arithmetic sequence. We know the first term is 2. The common difference is 8. So we get 50 is equal to 2 plus m minus 1, and common difference is 8. And now we've got a linear equation to solve, so we bring the 2 over here, so that's 48 is equal to, well, let's expand out the brackets, we get 8m minus 8, and then we add 8 on both sides, get 56 is equal to 8m, and so we then work out the m, is equal to 7, so it's the seventh term in the arithmetic series. Okay, that was a pretty quick explanation of the question. So just to go through the steps very quickly, we use the sum formula to work out the first and second term, because we know the sum of the first two terms is just the first and second term added together. We can then work out the common difference as well, which is very useful for later on. We work out the 32nd term by using the common difference and the first term, give us 250. Then we use the idea that in a geometric series or geometric sequence, the common ratio of the second term divided by the first term is the same as the third term divided by the second term. We rearrange this to give us a, a very simple quadratic to solve, taking the positive answer because we can't have the minus 50th term of a sequence. And then finally, we know un is equal to 50. So we know that the 50 is equal to a plus n minus 1d, where n is m in this case, because it's this letter here. And then we have a linear equation we can solve to work out that m is 7. So m must be the seventh term of the sequence. Right, hope you enjoyed that video. It's something a little bit different, and hopefully you found it useful. If you want more videos like this, please like, please comment. Please let me know you want videos exactly like this. All right, bye-bye for now.